I'm I'm kind of here for a Bobby post Malone interview, and I'm hoping it's in the works. I'm hoping he's added that to his press tour because the five hour Joe Rogan interview, insane, insane. We've got topics covered like they talked about the aliens, they talked about Magic the Gathering, they talked about, I mean, everything you could imagine for five hours. Can you imagine listening to me for five hours? Just, I mean, think of the mental strain, the amount of drugs, the alcohol, the breaks, the the bullets in the gun, the gun in your mouth. Like, just think about all the things you would have to go through to listen to me for five hours straight. I mean, that would be a nightmare. But so I listened to the whole thing, so you didn't have to. It was incredible. It's probably one of the most, um, and I mean, I know, I know I'm just, I know I'm just a fanboying right now, but you know, listen, Post Malone can do no harm. Post Malone has no scandals. Post Malone has no skeletons. Post Malone's never been canceled. Post Malone's got a great new album. Enough is Enough is like my favorite song ever. I'm a little peevy. It's only like less than three minutes, but apparently that's the perfect length for a song, according to Paul. Uh, I'm excited for that too. Be on the lookout a little oh, sneak peek. I'm not going to say anymore. Uh, music may be coming soon from that fame. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and so post Malone is like, you know, I think he's killing it. And so the, the Joe Rogan interview dude has just become, uh, you know, uh, it's, 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 it's a, it's, it's a lot. It's a five hour roller coaster ride of topics and bombshells and just, well, not bombshells, but just like, you know, man, I mean, what else, what else do you talk about? What else do you, could you possibly say in five hours? I mean, listen, I hope, I hope to God, I pray one day if I'm ever blessed with the opportunity to be on the Joe Rogan podcast, I hope it lasts five hours. I mean, I don't know what we're going to talk about for, listen, if I ever, let's be honest. Let's just be honest with ourselves right now because the last thing that we do on this podcast is hype ourselves up and overinflate our own ego and, you know, overinflate stories and make them sound bigger and better than they are uh, or do any of those things like that. If I got the opportunity to be on the Joe Rogan podcast ever, it would most likely be one of his hour to hour and a half long episodes. It would be one of the shortest Joe Rogan experiences uh, that we've ever experienced because I'm sure after 20 minutes in, he'll realize how big of a mistake it was having me on. I know I'm not building a case for myself, but maybe secretly, maybe secretly, like this is like a double, this is like a double Jedi mind trick thing that I'm saying like, Hey, like it wouldn't be good to have me on. So maybe young Jamie will see it and be like, Oh, like let's, let's call his bluff and have him on and watch it be like the best episode ever. And then like, let's actually have him on. Maybe that's like the game I'm playing. Maybe it's like a magician, like hypnotic thing 